Hi, my name's Andy and I'm from Rimmies Music and today I'm with the Boss DM2W. Uh, this is a Boss Delay pedal and it's a Wazacraft version. Uh, the Wazacraft versions are kind of like they took the classic and most famous pedals that, the, that people really like and they've kind of updated them to have more custom ability and kind of just made them overall a better build. Uh, so I'm just going to go through the features and uh, tell you about some of the controls. So starting all the way to the left we have the repeat rate. Uh, the repeat rate is kind of the, the, the distance between when you play the note to how uh, when the delay actually comes in which can be kind of used for like interesting effects. Uh, the smaller knob in the middle that's slightly different in design uh, is the uh, echo, where it says echo above it. That's basically the volume of the actual repeat itself. And then all the way to the right, we have this intensity knob. Uh, the intensity knob is how many repeats actually does. So there's a lot of custom ability in, uh, in it. Um, and in the middle, there's also this little, uh, little switch that says uh, S and C. Uh, this is the switch between the old version of this pedal uh, and the new Wazacraft version. Uh, the main difference is that you get a longer delay time with the custom one. In the standard setting, you get up to 300 milliseconds of delay, and in the custom setting, you get to 800 milliseconds. So basically, you can have longer delays and you can kind of play with it more on a on a kind of a, off its own back instead of just being like another effect. And uh, this is what it sounds like. <laughs>